So I'm sure it will come as no surprise to any of you that April was quite a record-breaking month. So I thought we'd start this week's farming forecast by taking a look back at the previous month and showing you the radar estimated rainfall anomaly for the month as a whole. And the first thing that we can see when we see this map is the widespread amount of brown colours over that map indicating the much drier than average conditions that we saw through April. And indeed, it was the fourth driest April on record nationally. So um, a particularly dry month, the only places really escaped that uh, dry weather is the far northern parts of Scotland which uh, for many places were a bit closer to average and for some places even above average but elsewhere lots of brown colours over the map and even in the south uh, and east some of those red colours as well indicating that these places saw less than five percent of their average rainfall for the whole month so very dry in some places and just comparing this to the uh, rainfall radar estimated accumulations map so what actually fell through April um, you can see that some of these places that had those red colors the less than five percent of their monthly rainfall uh, showing sort of less than five millimetres of rain for the whole month of April, so particularly uh, dry for some places there. Now, if you compare that to the first, only the first four days of May, you can see that for many places in these sort of southern and eastern areas, we've actually had more rain in the last four days than we did through April as a whole, particularly sort of areas like Essex, Hertfordshire, London, those kind of places have already seen more rain than they had in April um, after we had quite an unsettled uh, bank holiday weekend, particularly on Monday, where we saw an area of low pressure track eastwards across the UK, bringing quite widespread rain. So is the unsettled weather set to continue? Let's take a look at the forecast, starting with the jet stream. And this is currently sort of um, over kind of southern parts of the UK and generally sort of tracking areas of low pressure eastwards as we go through the week ahead. Now, as we go towards the weekend, there is a sign that it will start to become a little bit more amplified um, in the pattern and start to strengthen as well. You can see those red colours there indicating the jet stream is strengthening and deepening an area of low pressure, which will be pushed uh, north eastwards towards the UK over the weekend. So Saturday, expecting quite a wet and windy day then. But let's take a look uh, a little sooner. So for starting with tonight, we've currently got that area of low pressure that's brought us a, quite an unsettled bank holiday weekend. That's sort of uh, sitting out to the east there. So still in control of our conditions, bringing us in this sort of uh, cool northwesterly flow here and quite breezy for many places as well um, today and into the first part of tonight. And we've got this band of showery rain across many places as well. And as we go through the evening, that's set to sort of move southwards, become a little patchier as it goes as well. So a few showers possible, but generally sort of some places will dry out towards the end of the night. Showers persisting in some northwestern areas. So you can see that weakening. And as we go into tomorrow, showers persisting in the northwest there and a few showers elsewhere developing across eastern parts later on in the day. So quite an unsettled and showery day for many places. And those places that do start off dry, they will see a risk of frost as well, particularly across northern England. England and parts of southern Scotland on Wednesday morning. Now looking forward to Thursday, still got that area of low pressure out to the east, sort of uh, in the wings there, um, and continuing us in that northwesterly flow. We've also got another little area of low pressure out to the southwest, and this is expected to track eastwards across northern France through the day, so perhaps pushing some longer spells of rain into southern parts. But elsewhere, another showery day is expected, the most of those showers in the northwest, where they will turn wintry at times, but otherwise some sunny spells in there as well. And then into Friday, so looking a bit further ahead, bit of a slack pressure pattern on Friday. We've got a low waiting out in the wings down here. The other low has kind of cleared to the east now, but we've also got this little ridge of high pressure that will try and influence our conditions as well. So a bit of a mixed bag for Friday, quite a slack pressure pattern. I think we'll expect some showers as we go through the day for many places, particularly in the northwest. But rain starting to push into southwestern parts by Friday night and continuing to spread northeastwards through the day on Saturday and becoming quite windy for many places as well. You can see those isobars tightening there. So quite an unsettled day expected into Saturday and rainfall amounts similar magnitude to what we saw on Bank Holiday Monday for many places. 
If you're wanting to get some spraying done while well, starting off the sort of this period uh, with those windy conditions, it's not the best. But as we go through tonight and into tomorrow, winds will ease for many places. So really the case over the next few days is watching where showers develop because this makes conditions difficult for spraying. Winds should be light for um, a, a few times over the next couple of days before this area of low pressure approaches from the southwest. And again, you can see those isobars tightening, so bringing further breezy conditions as we go into Saturday. So becoming quite unsettled, it's really over the next few days where you have to watch out for showers if you're trying to do some spraying. And the best tool to do that with is our WQ radar. Head to wqradar.co.uk. You can track uh, near real-time real rainfall radar, take a look at weather observations worldwide, and you can also get lightning alerts, which are super useful if you're out in the field. And for a special offer, we're doing you a discount code SPRING, and this will give you our WQ radar for £25 for your first year subscription, which is almost half price. An excellent offer, if I do say so myself. Now, looking a bit further ahead into the early part of next week, that area of low pressure, which will bring us quite unsettled conditions through Saturday and indeed Sunday as well, will generally become centred over northern Scotland on Sunday and then begin to drift out towards Scandinavia as we go into the early part of next week. And as that moves uh, north eastwards, that will bring us into a more sort of north to northwesterly flow once again. So although we might see some milder air over the weekend as, on the, as that low pressure approaches, approaches on Saturday, Sunday, we'll be into this cooler feed of air by Monday next week. So it's beginning to feel cooler and more showery as well as that low clears away to the northeast. Looking further ahead into the sort of latter part of the week, there's a lot of sort of contending factors. So as the air of low pressure moves out to the way, that does give the chance for maybe high pressure to build from the west and influence conditions at times, but there'll also be low pressure around as well. So it's a bit of a, a battle between high and low pressure to which will win out as we go into the latter part of next week. So still quite a lot of uncertainty in the forecast. So do keep an eye on the forecast, as I imagine it will change quite a bit into the latter part of next week. Taking a look at temperatures, it has been quite chilly recently. Um, it looks like the next couple of days, not a high chance of above average temperatures. But as I mentioned, as we go towards the weekend and southwesterly winds develop, we might just see some brief mild air with that area of low pressure, and um, particularly for Sunday there, where you can see a lot of the red and the pink colors in that column there. Then as that northerly develops back to some cooler temperatures for sort of the middle part of next week. And then as we go towards the end of that week, you can see more of these pink and red colours here, indicating that we might return for a brief, slightly milder spell uh, towards the middle of May. Looking further ahead back into those white colours, so a very low chance of above average temperature. Uh, above average temperatures, I'm afraid. Um, but you can see a few of these pink colours across sort of southern areas. So these are the best places to be if you're looking for a higher chance of above average temperatures. Taking a look at rainfall, so the chance of a dry day. Um, you can see over the next couple of days here that signals are a bit mixed, and this is all to do with the sort of showery theme that we're expecting over the next couple of days. So as always with showers, they're quite hit and miss. So indeed, there's a mixture of those white, brown, and green colors in there as well. So some places staying dry, some places seeing showers. Then as we go into the weekend and that area of low pressure comes up from the southwest, we'll see pretty widespread rain for most places there. A lot of those green colors um, throughout the chart there. And then as we look further ahead, we've got this kind of green colours dominating across northern and western areas here um, for indeed much of the month ahead. Looking sort of further south, we've got a bit more of the whites and a few of those brown colours mixed in there as well. So a greater chance of a dry day if you're in the south. Um, so the chance of high pressure building at times here. But you'll notice as we go towards the very end of the month, you can see a few more of those green colours once again becoming more widespread across the chart there. So maybe as we go towards the end of May, things are becoming slightly more unsettled once again. So let's take a look at the monthly forecast then. So for week two, we have got low pressure sort of uh, expected to influence our conditions. So uh, looking like things will be unsettled. As I said, there's a lot of uncertainty. It could go either way at the moment as high pressure is nearby too. So a bit of a mixed bag as we go into week two. And you can see with that low pressure that we expected in kind of Western areas, a lot of those green colors expected there as well, indicating the uh, above average rainfall 
with those more unsettled conditions. But looking further, sort of central and eastern parts of Europe, conditions are expected to be drier than average here. In terms of temperatures, you can see um, that with that southwesterly flow, bring that air of low pressure towards the end of this week, that warm air will then drift into uh, central areas of Europe um, into week two. So some above average temperatures expected here. Um, elsewhere, and particularly for us, we've got some of these pink colors across the map, which is indicating above average temperatures. I think if this is going to happen for us, it's more likely towards the end of the week, as we did mention that at the beginning of the, the week, there'll be a cooler northerly flow to start off with. So maybe some uh, above average temperatures for us by the end of week two. Looking towards week three, we have got this signal here for higher than average pressure shown by those pink colours across the map. So maybe as we go into week three, the Azores high will strengthen a little bit and we might see high pressure ridging up from the southwest. So bring us slightly more settled conditions perhaps for week three. Um, and you can see that with those sort of um, brown colours across the map indicating drier than average conditions. Maybe not so much across northern parts of the UK, which may stay, may stay a little bit more unsettled at times times. And temperature wise as well, I think for most places close to average, but as we said when we looked at the temperature chart, southern places do have the best chance of those higher than average temperatures there. Into week four, a bit of a suggestion of a return to slightly more unsettled conditions with lower than average pressure expected in the northwestern parts of Europe or higher than average pressure affects southeastern parts. You can see here that um, rainfall across sort of um, North northwestern parts is quite variable into week four, but generally with a more of those green colours in there, so indicating that things will be wetter than average, while in the southeast, those brown colours indicate drier than average conditions. And temperature wise, not really much in the way of change. Above average temperatures for sort of much of Europe, but uh, below average in the sort of north and east there. And for us, I think probably close to average for the time of year. Um, just a hint of the pink colours there indicating that southern parts may be slightly above average at times, but otherwise we're looking for a continuation of those close to average temperatures. So to summarise, over the next couple of days we'll see frequent showers or spells of rain. These will be interspersed with a few sort of drier and brighter spells, so there'll be some sunshine at times too. And there are going to be the risk of a few frosty mornings, particularly where skies are clear overnight. Into the weekend we are expecting further unsettled weather, uh, quite widespread rain and windy conditions through Saturday and into Sunday. And it will turn a little bit milder on Sunday briefly for a time as well. As I mentioned, confidence does fall as we go further ahead. This is actually all to do with the uh, US storm season coming to a peak. So uh, lots of uncertainty in the conditions over there, resulting in uncertainty for conditions here. Um, however, they may settle down as high pressure ridges up from the southwest towards mid, mid to late kind of May before becoming more Atlantic dominated towards the end of May. So slightly more unsettled into the last week of May. But as I said, confidence is low at this stage. Thank you for watching this week's WeatherQuest Farming Forecast. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so please do get in touch with us on social media. And if you're watching us on YouTube, do remember to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.